Hello guys, it's gonna be a one take today. Go figure. Actually, it wouldn't be a one take if I were to add my footage of me deadlifting at the gym earlier today. <laughs> I don't know that I will though. It's a hassle to um, upload files from an Android onto an Apple computer. I think damn Apple have almost convinced me to get another iPhone next time just because of how seamless it is, how seamless it works with Apple products. <laughs> Um, I don't know, we'll see. I do miss the Apple user interface as well. Um, I woke up at 4.30 this morning and it's now 9.50. So I went to work early, I got there probably at about 10 past 5. I went to the service station as I normally do before work to grab my morning coffee and I was actually going to get two. But the coffee machine was out of order. <laughs> but I survived. I made it through. I was very annoyed but I made it through um, so I got to work I had like 154 emails and I got through them all before my shift officially started and then when my shift started I got a lot of stuff done so I got pretty much everything that I needed to get done done I'm probably more ahead now than I was before I left for before no before I got so busy when I was on night shift so I'm doing pretty well. Um, it was a pretty good day. I actually really enjoyed being back at work. I love my job. Um, I know I won't say that every day, but I love my job. It's really awesome. Um, and then, yeah, came home. No, didn't come home. Went straight to the gym. Conveniently located near my work. It's like a K or two away. I think I'm going to stay there even once Emily and I buy our house um, because it means that I can go there before or after work depending um i can't decide if i'm going to go to the gym t tomorrow before work or after i think maybe after because i'm doing leg day i should probably have food in my system and that means i will have eaten breakfast and lunch at work um, before i go and lift weights so yeah um i did a pull day today did deadlifts i lifted 60 kilos um i, I don't actually know what my one rep max is for deadlift um, I reckon it'd probably be around the 80 or 90 kilo mark. That might be with sketchy form. Um, I think the one thing that lets me down in terms of deadlifts is my grip strength, particularly in my left hand. Um, whenever I'm lifting, deadlifting, like 60 kilos, I could only get to four reps on 60 kilos because my left hand would just start to go and I felt like I was going to drop the barbell out of my hand. So yeah, um, obviously I'm going to get stronger at that. Um, hopefully before I know it I'll be deadlifting 100 kilos easy um, for 5 reps but yeah I'm actually super happy to be back into eating healthy I had my taco chicken for dinner well really it's Zach Perna's taco chicken anyway I was just checking how long I had left to record um, 10 minutes left on the memory card yeah so I'm loving being back into the eating well and um, I love how much less money I spend I'm going to do my food shop tomorrow night and I know I'm going to spend weight less money. Um, I was actually looking at buying some supplements, some protein and some pre-workout and some BCAs and maybe even creatine. Um, we'll see though, like it's a big investment. The stuff I want to buy is not cheap. It would cost me over $200, probably closer to like $230, $240. Um, and it would only last me maybe a month and a half, two months. I think it's a small price to pay for results. That's if they really do help me a lot. I know most days I don't eat enough protein and having a protein supplement and having the BCAs to help with my recovery um, and having the pre-workout to sort of G me up for, for the gym. And just even the fact that they're all flavoured and they taste nice would be sort of like a treat for me. So... We'll see how I go. If I continue to maintain a consistent workout routine and I'm going five or six days a week within a month or so, I think I'd be more than happy to buy myself the supplements just because I've, I've worked so hard and because I'm planning on not having any cheat meals for a really long time. So it'll mean that um, I will have earned it because I won't be wasting my money on crap food. But yeah, I just had a really good, um, good chat with Emily. I was talking about life goals and um, where I'm headed how I'm feeling about life at the moment and I won't go into detail because I don't think I'm quite ready yet but um it's fucking exciting 
I'm, I'm feeling really good, feeling really motivated, feeling super focused, more so than I have ever been. I think I said at the beginning of this year, if I could look back on the 1st of January, that one of my goals this year was to live with more purpose and with less fear. Um, and I think I'm truly sort of really committing to that this year. And it's not been easy and it's not been a linear path, but I'm fucking working on it and I'm doing a really good job. I'm more confident than I've ever been. I'm happier than I've ever been. I'm less fearful than I've ever been, but I still have such a long way to go. But for the first time in my life, that actually excites me how far I have to go because I know that it's just going to make me even stronger. So it's exciting. It's exciting and I can't wait to look back on this, you know, five or ten years time. And when I look back on the conversation I had with Emily tonight and I see how far I've gone, fucking exciting. I'm going to leave it at that for tonight because we need to get some sleep. Emily's planning on running in the morning, so she's going to be up in like seven hours. And I know I'm just going to browse on my phone in bed for a while. So yeah, I should go to bed. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.